All right, so this video we're going to look at solving uh, polynomial equations that will factor. All right, so I've got three examples to work. Uh, so let's take a look at the first one. So if we look at this one, we've got everything on the left-hand side set equal to zero. And what we're going to do is factor it. So for this one, we'll factor out the greatest common factor, which in this case is 5x squared. So if we factor out a 5x squared, we're left with x squared minus 4. And that equals 0. So now all I do is I take each factor and set it equal to 0. So I've got 5x squared equals 0 or x squared minus 4 equals 0. So solving this one, we'll solve each one of them separately. So solving this one, I'll divide, I'll divide everything by 5. So I get x squared equals 0. So that gives me x is equal to 0. So there's one solution. And now this one, I can use the square root property. So I'm going to move the minus 4 over. So I'll add 4 to both sides. And so I get x squared is equal to 4. And then recall the uh, square root property that says if we have x squared is equal to some number k, that's if, then x is equal to plus or minus the square root of k. And so here we would have x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 4, so x is equal to plus or minus 2. And there's our other two solutions, so we get three solutions, 0, positive 2, and negative 2. All right, let's take a look at the next one. <clears throat> All right, so first thing we want to do is we want to get everything on one side, set it equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract 9x to both sides, and I'm going to add 27 to both sides. So that's going to give me 4x cubed minus 12x squared minus 9x plus 27 equals 0. All right, so now I need to see about factoring this thing. Well, if you remember back when you learned how to factor, whenever you have four terms, try factor by grouping. So we'll take this and we'll split it down the middle. So out of the first part, I can factor out a 4x squared. And that's going to leave me with x minus 3. Okay. Now out of the second part, we can factor out a 9. Okay. But look at this. What happens if we factor out a 9? We're left with negative x plus 3. Well, this term does not match this term. Okay. And notice I factored out a positive 9. Well, what happens instead of factoring out a positive 9 if I factor out a negative 9? Well, that's going to change the sign of each of these terms. So that would leave me with x, because I've got a negative 9x, so that changes to a positive. And then here I have plus 27, so that would be negative 3, and that equals 0. Now, if you notice here, I have a common binomial factor of x minus 3. So I'm going to factor out a x minus 3. And if I factor a x minus 3 out of this first term, I'm going to be left with 4x squared. And I factor a x minus 3 out of here, I'm left with minus 9. And that equals 0. And then what I'll do is I'll set each one of these factors equal to 0. So I've got x minus 3 equals 0 or 4x squared minus 9 equals 0. <clears throat> so solving the first equation, I'm going to add 3 to both sides. So that gives me x equals 3. So there's one solution. And then here, I'm going to use the square root property again. So I'll add 9 to both sides. 
and so that's going to leave me with 4x squared equals 9 and then I'll divide both sides by 4 and so that's going to leave me with x squared equals 9 over 4 and so by the square root property x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 9 over 4 so x is equal to plus or minus 3 halves and there's my other solutions all right, so now let's take a look at the last one. <clears throat> First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to move the 81x over by subtracting both sides by 81x. And so that's going to leave me 3x to the fourth minus 81x is equal to zero. Then I'm going to factor out the greatest common factor so I'll factor out a 3x. That's going to leave me with x cubed minus 27. And all that equals 0. <clears throat> and then we'll look at this. This is the difference of two cubes. Okay. So if you remember the formula for factoring the difference of two cubes, it's this. Okay, there's your formula. So remember, x cubed minus 27, we can write that as x cubed minus 3 cubed. So you can see that there's our a, which is x, and 3 is our b. And so plugging it into this, well, you can plug it in, but look, this is all it is. So we have the difference of two cubes, so drop the exponents, and we're left with the a minus b. Okay, And then look at this. You square the first term, change the sign, multiply the two, and then this one is always positive, and then square the last term. So you square, change the sign, multiply, always positive, square the last term. And I have a video on factoring sum and difference of two cubes if you need to take a look at that. So here we go. All right, so we drop the cubes, so that's x minus 3, and then we square the first term, change the sign, x times 3 is 3x, this is always positive, and square the last term. And so that would be this factored. The x cubed minus 27 factors into this. So that leaves me with 3x times x minus 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 9 equals 0. All right. So now I set each one of them equal to 0. So 3x equals 0 or x minus 3 equals 0 or x squared plus 3x plus 9 equals 0. So solving this one, I'm going to divide everything by 3. I get x equals 0. There's one solution. Here, I'll add 3 to both sides, so I get x equal 3. There's another solution. Now this one, this one doesn't factor. Okay, So we can either complete the square or quadratic formula. Let's use the quadratic formula. So remember, if we have a if we have a equation, a quadratic equation, in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, then the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac, all that over 2a. Alright, so we get x is equal to, now remember here, a is equal to 1, that's the number in front of x squared. b is equal to 3, the number in front of x. And c is the constant term, which is 9. And so we get negative b, so negative 3, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, all that over 2 times a. And now it's just arithmetic, 
So we get negative 3 plus or minus the square root. That's going to be 9 minus 36 over 2. So x is negative 3. I'm going to write that a little better. Negative 3 plus or minus the square root. All right, so we got 9 minus 36 is negative 27 over 2. And so now we need to simplify this. That's going to be, let me write it here, x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus. And remember the negative, that's i square root. And if we simplify 27, that's 9 times 3 over 2. So x is negative 3 plus or minus 3i square root of 3, all that over 2. And there's your other solution. So here we got one, two, three, four solutions. All right, so I hope the video helped. Uh, give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.